Tafiasi is about an hour's drive from Tumu, the Sisala East Municipal Capital. The community has a school attended by pupils from four communities. Girls' enrollment here is encouraging. This is after teachers prioritize the protection of the girls in school from external influence. Teachers say teenage pregnancy, child marriage and elopement, which used to be a common phenomenon, have destroyed the education of several teenage girls and rendered many single parents. The emergence of the coronavirus pandemic worsened their situation following the shutdown of schools across the country. Over the past year, when I came here, 2018, there hadn't been any successive time without at least two or three children getting pregnant and being eloped from the school. So the following year, 2019, we tried Kevin, unfortunately, the COVID came in and interfered. And more unfortunately, during the season, we had as many as eight girls that were eloped. Before we even returned, one had already delivered. But that one never stayed me away. I accepted them. They were in the school until they graduated. Teachers had to persuade the traditional authority to intervene. The move resulted in the institution of some punitive measures against men who indulge in acts detrimental to the development and growth of the girl child. They came out with their measures that anybody involved in impregnating any of their children, they are not just going to take physical cash, but they will take some animals for purification. And it stares away some people because when you're talking about purification in our tradition, it means a lot. At times you may even lose your life. Oh yes. So because of that, many people now are very scared. Parents who check their responsibilities are also to be held liable by the traditional authorities. Especially the parents of the girls. Initially when we were fighting it, a girl could be eloped in an, in an attempt of retrieving the girl back. Then the parents of the girl will remain adamant. So at a point in time, the head teacher was seen to be the evil, as well as the PTA executives, who were seen enemies to the elopers. So there we met the community leadership and told them, we are now hypocrites because we want the children to go to school. Meanwhile, their parents don't want those children to go to school. So it was based on that. Then they said that if that is the case, they will put the children in the hands of the parents. Now, as we said, any child that gets pregnant or being eloped by any other person, it is the parent that will be taxed to bring the person. Salifu Alidu Lariba is the chairman for the school's parents' teacher association. Just like it's happening in other places, they also have a law that if a man or a male should impregnate a, a school girl or the girl child, then you are fined 1,500 cities. As a community, what they do is that uh, if they realize that a young man impregnates a school girl or is the seven a school girl, they call that person, they advise him, and then they also warn him to desist from such acts. The municipal chief executive for Sisala East, Fusen Yakubu Baton, is in support of the measures taken by the traditional authority. As it is, the emerging uh, challenges are always different, okay. and and within the period too. Maybe because of the COVID, they took advantage of it. We are not in school, and they were going down. Okay. And now COVID is not there, but yet we still have them. Uh, being pregnant and being eloped and all those things. And like I said, if we enforce our bylaws at all, every community, we should be able to reduce this uh, menace. Despite the success choked in protecting the girl child to be in school, other factors militate against their stay. The difficulty in assessing sanitary parts by the girls during menstruation hinders some of them from staying in school. But the existence of a girls' club in the school is addressing some of the challenges. The pupils have resolved not to give in to pressures from young men in the community. Seydou Latifa is the president for the girls' club. You can have a boyfriend, but when the boy is also the 
same class as you and the boy know math and you don't know the subject you can go to the boy and say he should teach you but if the boy just started behaving like come to my house or something else just leave the boy parents say they are committed to their responsibility and that school authorities want all stakeholders in education to work together to harness the full development and growth of the girl child. Stanley Ni Blewi, TV3 News, Tafiasi, Sisala East.